So it's officially March, as y'all can see. Um, the snow just disappeared. Okay, well, um, it's March now, and we got a lot to do on the farm. It is planting season officially. We're going to be putting some corn down in our new field right here, and we're going to be also planting some soybeans. But um, first, since we're going to be expanding the farm a lot here this year, especially, we are going to be selling off some old equipment because some of our equipment, it's pretty old. We got some pretty old stuff in here. Um, oh, crap. I forget. I moved everything to this shit. We got some pretty old equipment in here. We got the 5020 we're going to end up selling off. I know I hate to say it, cause, but the 5020 is really nice, but it's just getting kind of old. It's kind of getting really insufficient. We're going to have to buy something bigger, something better. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be also giving away our old combine here. We're going to be getting something better too. A lot newer. Um, we're going to be hopefully getting some good money from it. Selling it off. Um, and we got all our hay and equipment in. Um, I had it ordered when we first moved here. But just now came in. So it's all here now. Um, still got all our same equipment in here. Still got the grain wagons. Um, nothing's really changed. That's why we're going to. Get some new equipment in here, and maybe even get some cows. Maybe not this episode, but I want to get cows. So we're probably going to end up getting cows eventually. I don't know for sure, but eventually we probably will get some cows. So all I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be going ahead and getting out the 5020 right here. And the guy said he was going to come pick it up. I've, I've had it on Marketplace probably for three or four months and somebody's finally looked at it and went to buy it um he kept we kept texting over facebook and we started out at 16 that's what i listed it for then he lowballed me he went all the way down to like 10 5 and i wasn't about to do that and we met around 14 5 so i feel like that's pretty fair for both of us especially for an old tractor like this i'd say 14 5 is pretty good so i'm gonna set this right out here and Funny enough, he's also wanting to buy our combine, too. So that is real convenient for us. We just sold off two of our pieces of equipment here. Um, and we met about, I think, it was seventeen five on the combine. And I think it was 3500 on this header right here. So we're going to go ahead and get everything attached, get that ready to go. The guy texted me. He said he was going to be here in the next uh, 15 minutes, he said. He doesn't live too far away. He's just like me. He's trying to start his own farm, which he's just now starting his farm, though. Like, he's starting from scratch. Like, he just got everything up, ready to go, and he doesn't have a lot of money, so he's going to start out with some older equipment. So, I feel like it's pretty good for him. It'll be pretty good stuff for him, especially for around here. It's good, good equipment. Just, I really need some upgrades so i'm sending it off and we're gonna buy some stuff some better stuff for our bigger fields and just making a lot more money now so we don't really need all this older stuff all right we got all that stuff sold now we gotta go look at this new equipment that we're gonna be buying and it's gonna be a lot so we're probably gonna have to have a loan we have 48 grand but 
we're still going to be needing a loan. Like, this is a lot of money. We're talking more than six figures what I'm buying here. So, this is going to be a big purchase for the farm. So, actually, I was going to take this truck, but I've already, I was going to go look at it, but I might as well just take this truck and trailer in case I wanted to buy it straight up. Um, I'm just going to bring the old dually right here and the trailer. And we're going to go figure out a price and most likely this time we'll bring this stuff back. All right, and just across the road here is what we're gonna be buying. Okay, here we are around back. This is everything we're buying. Everything here is John Deere. Cause you know, I'm John, nobody makes it better, but John Deere. I get John Deere's are a lot more expensive, but this will last way longer than anything else you could buy. So. We're going to be getting us some um, all John Deere equipment. I don't think there's a single thing on my farm that's not John Deere except for my trucks. Uh, even my lawnmower is John Deere, so y'all can tell I probably really like John Deere. But anyway, here is everything that we're going to be buying. We're going to be buying this John Deere 8210. We're going to be buying this 630 disc right here. We're going to be buying this 9600 this 7,000 planter, this, I think, three, no, 843 corn head, and this 925 corn head. I was going to get around to buying a corn head anyway, but it just turned into this whole, or this, this whole big bunch of stuff. I was looking for a corn head, and this is actually how I found all this stuff. So I figure I might as well just go for it. I mean, now, right, right now, is just as good as any time, as any time. So I figure I might as well buy well, I can, because this stuff might end up selling out, so you never know. And it was priced really good. Okay, we got everything set up here. I am gonna... Oh, wait, I forgot. I need to go down to the bank quick and get a loan, because I only have 48 grand right now. He... We bargained and bargained. Not bargained, sorry. We have kept trying... I've kept trying to lower it. He's kept trying to raise it, but we met in the middle at around 123.5. Yeah, 123500 So, we're going to be taking out a $100,000 loan from the bank. Puts us hundred grand in debt, I know, but you got to do what you got to do. So, we're going to go down to the bank quick and grab a loan and get the papers and everything for this tractor and pay up. And this is all ours. Hey, guys, so we got the loan. We only ended up having to take about eighty five grand. so don't feel like that's that bad. Gonna have about ten grand left over, ten grand and a few hundred bucks, so it should we should be able to last a little bit. Okay, so a hundred twenty three five right down the drain, and all this equipment belongs to us. So we're gonna be going ahead and getting this stuff loaded. And I forgot to talk about all this stuff. This is a John Deere eighty two ten, a two thousand one John Deere eighty two ten. It's got I think fifteen sixteen hundred hours on it. Not bad at all. Um, I don't know the exact years on these, but I told you about these 925 and the 843 and the 7000 planer. Um, I know for sure this is a 2000 John Deere 9600. So quite a bit newer than what we've been running. So it'll be a big upgrade to the farm. All right, we got the truck here with the 8210 and it is loaded. We're probably going to have to make three or four trips with this, but uh, we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it. This is a... Uh, 50 foot trailer, but it feels pretty small when you're hauling equipment like this. This is some big stuff for this trailer. And big for this truck, too. We're hauling probably 20, 30,000 pounds back here. Maybe even more. I don't know. Oh, got to strap it down, too. All right, back here for another load. We got the 420 on here so we can hook up to the stuff on the three point we're gonna go ahead and put this trailer down get things loaded up and get back we are gonna be selling some soybeans today i just looked on my phone and prices are over like two grand right now for soybeans so that's crazy that's gonna make some serious money so we're gonna i guess i'm gonna grab the planner i'm just gonna get the planner and maybe one of the headers from the combine and load up and come back for one more load okay y'all so we got everything off the trailer everything is back home at the farm 
all we need to do is get into the shed. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving this stuff. And we're going to go sell some grain at the feed store. Okay, so we have everything in this shed that we got. All the headers and sprayers and cultivators, everything like that is right in here. Actually, hold on. Y'all never mind. I put the sprayer in this shed because it's all the all the uh, field care stuff's gonna be going right in here. So we got seven thousand, and we got the uh, eighty three fifty right here. This actually isn't a sprayer. This is a cedar. I forget a planter. It's a planter. It's a planter. I'm getting my words mixed up. I guess. <laughs> but anyway, today we're gonna get stuff hauled off. Um, First, I'm gonna show you guys what we got in here now. So now we have the 8210 sitting right here, ready to go with the 630 disc. We got the combine right here. We put the 4020 back, and right over here we got our headers. Right here we got an 843, uh, right there, or 925, John Deere 925. I think it's a uh, probably. Probably a 25 footer. That's probably why it's called a 25. I'd say it's a 25 foot um, head right here. 25 foot uh, bar, is what you call it, I think. And then here we got a John Deere 843. It's an eight row corn head, so uh, it should be doing us pretty good here on the farm. You know, we we're probably gonna end up buying bigger equipment, but for how big we are right now, we really don't need anything else. So it's it's, it's definitely a good upgrade for the farm, but. Um, we are gonna go for now and sell this corn because I think prices are doing real, real good right now. Let's see, let's go to soybeans. Um, yeah, we got 2056 right now at the feed store, so we need to locate the feed store right here. It is what's well, this? The feed store, I guess that is a we buy hay. All right. That's seed, fertilizer, and lime. I guess right here where we need to be tagging. And to get it there quick, we're going to be using our truck. Probably not the best idea. I'm just going to back it up right here and hook it up to the gravity wagons. Yes, I said gravity wagons. I got three of them. This ain't. Oh, gosh. I just scraped the side out. It's Chevy. It'll be all right. Um, probably not the best idea. It's three gravity wagons. Um, we'll have to see how the truck will hold up, but, um, definitely probably not rated for this many grain wagons, but, uh, let's see here. These things are pretty nimble. They should be able to come on out. There we go. I should be able to just do that right there, and they'll fall right along. That's a good thing about these, uh, the way they bend in two ways. They bend at the um, hitch back here at the resitch, and they also bend right here in the front wheels, so they can they can pretty much be moved around any corner. And where they're so short, they can pretty much be moved around anywhere. They're kind of tough on backing up, but other than that, pretty nice. Hey okay, guys, so we had to um, go get this little belt system thing. Right, I didn't know you can't load these things unless you have that right there. So and sit back there, then I'm gonna pull the grain cards up, and then we're gonna just sell grain. So, here we go.
All right, boys, she is loaded, and it's actually pulling really good. I'm honestly surprised how good this thing's pulling. It's honestly pulling better than the 5020 could. That is weird. But okay, then here comes that part of it. The fact that it does that. I don't think the green cards are meant to be on this speed, man. They are going crazy back there. Oh my gosh. What the crap? Oh my lord. Pulling out. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, boys. First load of selling. So one grain wagon is gone, and I know it says twelve thousand five sixty, but there's another seven thousand that was made before this. So we're getting about twenty thousand dollars a wagon. So that is pretty good, guys. That was the last load, and holy crap, that was. A whole lot of money as you guys can see right there in the top right we got 132,654 we are swimming in the cash now oh my gosh what harvest boys that is a lot of money but we also have an 85 grand loan so I'm gonna go get that repaid and then we'll see how much we have we're still gonna have quite a bit of cash to be sitting on it's still gonna be quite a bit probably 40 grand or something like that which is really good all right so we got the loan paid back we are debt free and we got 47 654 we're sitting on what a good harvest year dude oh wow that was really good and we're gonna be doing even better next year well maybe not even better but just as good because oh actually no we are gonna be doing better because we have that new cornfield now and i might after oh my gosh after this next year oh my gosh after this next year i might actually end up purchasing a, another field so that'll make us a lot more money but we're also gonna have to upgrade equipment too so we're actually going to get to that in the next video we're gonna plant 
But I think that is honestly going to do it for this video. If you guys did manage to enjoy, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It helps me a lot. If we get to 40 subscribers, I'm going to get a dog for the farm. So please, if you know anybody who can subscribe, get them to subscribe. Because honestly, I want a dog. But I'm not getting a dog until I get to 40 subscribers. Mark my word. I really want a dog. So please, please help me get a dog. I really want a dog, man. But anyway, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button, like I just said five seconds ago. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.